hi and welcome back to another best of times reborn youtube video it is currently the sunday the 5th of november 2023 this is an update video it is 7 52 a.m currently 24.5 degrees celsius and the humidity is 82 percent so it's going to rain Tuesday onwards. Today we have a high of 30 and a low of 20. That's Celsius. I'm your host Brad. This is Best of Times Reborn. And this is the latest update video. Apparently they've finished the Dalrymple Esplanade. The council mentioned it on their, on their Facebook page. So this is Flying Fish Point Road down there. And then down to where you go to it in this sec. Oh, wiping the sweat off. And away we go down the stairs. Now they're supposed to be joining it up to Flying Fish Point Road, so stage two is doing it to Flying Fish Point Road. So they say on that. So we'll see how that goes in the long run. So you come down here off the bridge, the Geraldton Bridge, which is the one near the hospital over to Innisfail Estate, Valletta's Estate. You go in under the bridge and you can get to the, get to the track. We've shown the progress of this over the time. So we'll see if it is actually fully finished. And then we'll go out and show the track out at Gundy Bend at the sports ground they're doing one up putting a whole new one in behind the trees sort of close where the road is then there's the, um, the drain there then there's trees then the bike track will be there and it'll come out of Blackwood Street from basically where Spa Supermarket used to be through down to Blackwood Street where the lights are Okay, so it'd be nice if they joined all this up, like they said they're going to. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and they just get it done. Get it done fast. I have walked along here and did video the way it used to be. So you can check that out in the Innisfail playlist on YouTube. Just type in Dalrymple Esplanade. And then some of the update videos have got Dalrymple Esplanade in it as well. Good to see someone using it. But we'll look back where we just came from. Oh. Trying to show the new people privacy. But it's good to show people using it. I'd love to interview about those people and ask what they think of the new path. There's where the old path went, up there behind, right behind the houses. Which I'm sure the people who live there are happy that that's gone. It's all just that blue metal stuff in the way now, in that spot. But well, we'll continue along and show what this is like. Give you a good look. Wow. It's pretty cool. Very windy. Instead of just a straight path, it looks it looks nice. Yeah, I'm impressed with it so far. Very humid day. Yeah, I don't know how accurate that temperature is because it comes from the Mundu Airport, which is a bit of a distance from here. They used to have a bureau of meteorology thing next to the um, the Bowling Green over the Corso there, and they used to have one in the car park near the fish and chip van, that sort of area, but they're long gone, so the temperature's not as accurate. Sometimes it's better to look on weather underground and see people who will put their own weather stations up and linked it to it, so you can have a look there. I think that's sometimes the way to go, to be able to do it, to see the current more up-to-date temperature, because there's people in different suburbs, even Coquet Point, East Innisfail, Gundy, Gundy Band and that, that have got weather stations 
that'd be a bit more accurate. There's your Johnston River. Fitzgerald Esplanade across there. Hopefully the camera's handling the brightness. The battery might overheat, which sometimes happens. Anyway, we'll continue on. Just getting the microphone cable out of the way. Yeah, you can see where the old pathway was over there, where all that blue metal is. I'd love to know what the residents think along here, of how good it is having this a lot further away, not having people walking right at their back fence. People are still jogging down there. Hopefully we'll see them come back. Showing people using it. What a flag. Yep, the dogs always have to bark. You see in my other videos, with those dogs barking in there. Another the one's along here. We're not gonna go on the old part of the bike path because it's too far. But we'll go up and down this. So we'll go all the way down to where this new part finishes and then we'll turn and come back so if you watch my other videos you'll see where the playground is well i'm just about at that that's to my left where that playground is over there the one i've shown in multiple videos walked over and shown it because it could change but hopefully they put some more of these seating along and move the lighting across so it's closer to the pathway for safety. That would be awesome. That would be amazing. But a lot of the time with these seats, they get covered in green ants. Anyway, let's look back where we just came from. You can see. If you hear the distance on my watch, that's from when I started to walk at home to now. So, yeah, often along here, the seating gets green ants on it, so you can't really sit down here. Well, this makes it look, the pathway look really old, really fast. With all this on here. Hopefully they put turf on both sides, so you're not getting the runoff of dirt and mud coming on here. But it's on a slight angle, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's on a very slight angle, which will help water to flow across it. To the river and that when it floods. I don't think most people are coming back along here unless they go all the way to the end and come back. Yeah, it's nice that it's here, this. I've been saying for years they should put one over here further across, closer to the river. You can't see the river in too many spots though. That's the thing. bells of the Catholic Church. All right, well, I'm going to go quiet for a sec so you can hear the surroundings, and then I'll be back. Could have just linked up to Flying Fish Point Road this end too. Yeah, go down some way instead of just from under the bridge and around. Let it link up so there's a sort of a track all the way around in as far as state. Yeah. And then come out and go all the way down to the coconuts and then to Flying Fish Point. That would be amazing if they did a track all the way along there. A lot of people, a lot of people want it. Quite often people 
mention that on Facebook. If the council puts something up about a new pathway, they'll mention it. And I would like it if people keep mentioning it. It might happen one day. I know it's a long stretch, but a lot of people do ride along there, and I've seen people walk along there, and I've done it myself. Not really the safest in spots. There's parts where there's no white line, so you can't be on the wrong on the left-hand side of the white line when you're walking or riding. No. This makes it quite dangerous. A lot of people will move out of the way, which I really appreciate, and a lot won't. There's a boat that caught on fire, apparently, which I think people could see by what I Read on Facebook, people could see it from over in the Corso direction. Over east. There's some really nice houses along here to my left. It's hard to show. There's a cat. It's hard to show for you know, people's security. Privacy, I mean. All that. But we'll look back where we just came from, like we always do. There we go. So far we've walked 11 minutes along here. I don't think those people are coming back along here. It would have been great to see people using it again. A bit more. It'd be nice if they did up the rest of this bike path. It's not very nice once you get to the end of this. But remember last time I come along here, the fen big fence was still up here. Where well, this big sign is here. There's a big fence there. This little bridge wasn't here. It was all uh, rocks and stuff. Like a creek bed that they put in. Yeah, hopefully they extend all this uh, turf all the way along. Where this is all been ruined by their machinery and stuff, which is expected. I think it's great that the council's actually done this. This little bridge here, it's pretty cool. So people can't drive across it, they've got these blue pylons or bollards or whatever you want to call them. That's great. Well, I'm going to have to get a photo for the um, thumbnail, so this bridge may as well be it. So bear with me. And we'll get it from the other side due to lighting, and we'll show it on video and all that too. But it's like, oh, it's, it's cushy. It's got all the little holes in it. You can get my shadow in the way, that makes it harder. You can see where they put some turf over here. Alright, we'll get this. Get this infrastructure and investment sign. Infrastructure investment program. Stimulus sign in it too. So, so this comes out to Tierney Street, this is Tierney Street here, this one here. So basically, the new part finishes at Tierney Street. So, Tierney Street there, then you can see the old one, how it is. Be nice if they did up all the drainage here. You can see it needs it, especially with all the trucks going over it all that time. All the machinery, dozers and things. Okay, so there's the old part down there. Yeah, all that needs to be done up and it'd be so nice. And that takes you to Nelson Street, which is here. Nelson Street. 385 metres, 481 steps, it says on there. Okay, well, let's go back. We might try a little bit more of this bridge on here, just to have it on there. In more detail, so you can see how they did it, what they did. Would have been nice if they cemented all the way down there. So the water flows better. I'm no engineer, so... Yeah. 
I don't make too many comments on it, but just from my view, what I can tell would have been better. Might get a photo from this angle, looks nice. While it's still basically fairly new. Nice. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with what they've done. Yep, yeah, they're nice. It'd be safer if there was a proper railing on here, but yeah, you got your little bollards. I don't know how many days it's been open, but they've only you know, mentioned it on their Facebook for. Well, I noticed it yesterday. It could have been open longer. Just hope they put decent lighting all the way along. They used to have really low lighting along here years ago. What do you mean about waist height? For the old thing. Probably about as high as those bollards back there, the blue bollards. And uh, that always get broken. Yeah, they were there for years. But these tall ones seem to be fine, these green ones. Even if they just moved those across, put them about half a metre away from the bike tracks that it shows, and jot them out. So you got some on one side and some on the other to show it. Show it up good. There's the Johnston River. Don't know if you can see the Jubilee Bridge through there. You'll see in my last video where I did all the time lapses and that. If you have a look at that on Best of Times Reborn, it's available now. Um, they're doing rendering to the side of the post office, the part that faces the cutter court. I overheard one of the workers telling someone that they're rendering it. So it won't be all brick along there. Well the bricks will be there but it'll be covered. So you won't see that brown brick. So we might go past there on the way through. It's going to be just the two pathways but I might actually go past there and show the progress of that. Yeah, have a look at that video if you want to see when they first started doing that. It was like a day after they started putting in the... So I'll putting all the scaffolding and that up. So we're heading back towards the Jelton Bridge. And we'll show the way it was leading up to there, which is going to be part of stage two. Hopefully they do it right up. You know, so they put a little fishing spot there, concreted it, made it safe, like a bit of a wharf. Just a small thing that people can sit there safely and fish off. A little pontoon thing. I like that thing they've got over the Corso. Something like that would be perfect there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Plover, two plovers, just like to get upset. Yeah, you can see why I say they need to put turf in that along here. It looks so much nicer. Even some pop up sprinklers wouldn't go astray. There's a clean up Australia Day oh, glove. Interesting to show for history. Hmm. Just got the clean up Australia Day symbol on there. Yeah, it's so nice to walk along here. It'd be better if there was more shade in places. The problem with planting trees along a pathway is you get the roots growing through and wrecking it. You see that along uh, River Avenue, over out past Elwood High School on your way to Wangan. That can be quite bad. Oh, there's a, a willy wagtail. They're nice birds when they're not nesting. Very nice. Get across to the Fitzgerald Esplanade. RSL, all that. There's a couple of... They look freshly painted, those ones with the blue on it. The two end ones, anyway. The third one doesn't, but the other two do. Don't know how well they'll show up on video, though. 
We'll continue along when we're up to along where the playground is. We'll move to the side so if anyone comes past they can try ride past or walk past without any incident. There's your the park and the seating and a bubbler. And there's a bubbler over there, which I wouldn't drink out of. Probably be alright to give oh, dogs some water out of. Give out a dog bowl and that. But it'd be nicer if it was closer. A lot of this grass is dying off. It'd be nice if they, I don't know how they could do it, but if they had boil water and some pop-up sprinklers that come on each morning, especially at this time of the year, around four or five o'clock in the morning, before the sun comes fully up. So it's got time to absorb into the grass. But I notice bought water doesn't last forever. So I remember when I was in primary school, they put in a bore at the school I was going to here. And it's not there now. There's a classroom in that spot. It's between the toilets and the next classroom. The student toilets. Yeah. I remember them doing it, we come in as a class and had a look. We could see it at lunchtime in that too. So there's your Geraldton Bridge over there where the ferry used to go across. There used to be Villetta's farm along here, and then I think there was Tierney's farm too, people talk about. Hence the name Tierney Street. Should be a Villetta Street over here. I think there's a Villetta Street somewhere, or Villetta Close or something. I forget where that is. So you've got your public accesses in between some of these houses. I think if they're going to have public access, have a have a pathway across to it. That'd be nice. That doesn't wear the grass out. But here's your beautiful picturesque Johnston River. People always say this is the South, South Johnston River. Whereas the one out near Gundy. And the North Johnson River, North Johnson Bridge is the North Johnson River. So on your way to Cairns, just coming out of Innisfail. When you go past the turn off to Belvedere and the Palmerston, you go up a little bit further and there's a big bridge with a, with a small bridge next to it, a lower bridge. That's the North Johnson. So we'll look back where we just came from as we pan across the beautiful Johnson River. That's oh, a beautiful location, just needs to be utilized. I love they used to have the tree, all the trees along the Esplanade used to bloom really nice and they'd have beautiful lights in it 24 7. Oh, like, like 365 days a year they'd have them turned on at night. It's really nice, like fairy light type things, outdoor ones. They had that till Cyclone Larry and it was really nice when you could go along the Esplanade. Yeah, it looked beautiful. It's apparently a part of the town beautification type thing whatever they're calling it now. It's supposed to be doing better lighting around for security through town and on the Jubilee Bridge. Hopefully under it too. Yeah. Clean the Jubilee Bridge once or twice a year. I know it's expensive to do, but yeah. put in infrastructure, you've got to maintain it. It's my opinion. Like this infrastructure here, they've got to maintain this regularly. So this was the first part of this to be finished along here. Someone's walked along there, you can see their shoe prints. Sneakers and that, of course. Of course someone's going to do that when it's wet. What I think the council should do, the every path, big pathway thing they build like this, they should have a special stamp, like a metal stamp, that they put at the start and the end of each one of these, that has the date that it was finished, the date it was started at, the, at one end, the date it was finished at the other, officially opened and all that. Or even just put 2023 on this one. So people can look back and see when it was built, have a plaque even. Yeah, you can see people come here and fish and, and do whatever. It'd be better when they put proper pathway here.
proper road Five next to it would be good. Steps. Heart rate 124. Make this a bit nicer would be great. Yeah, it was a nice area for people to, to walk, get exercise, even come and have a picnic across here. It'd be amazing. Make it a really nice, welcoming area that's safe. Plenty of lighting, plenty of ways to be able to see if someone's coming. Make it so much safer. So, with these videos, we like to show as much detail as possible for us to see. So we'll go quiet when we walk past this person, of course. Privacy and safety, and all that. And then we'll go past the post office and have a look, see if we can see anything. Once we've gone up here and gone up the stairs, and show them what we're going to show. Yeah, a lot of people come here and fish. I don't know if they catch much. There is fish in the Johnston River, so I'm sure they catch something. I saw someone catch a crab the other day on a fishing line and then put it back. Any luck? No, oh, okay. Good luck. to the, um, the community gardens down there. It used to be toilets down there, but they're gone. I think they're completely gone. No, there was a covered seating area down there that's gone last time I went down there. That's what it was. So up here, they're supposed to be joining it up to Flying Fish Point Road, so. See so how that goes. Yeah, because it's pretty terrible along here. It's not very nice. It's the sort of thing that should have been fixed up years ago. But anyway. I wish they'd do this along Gundy Hill, this part here. But I've concreted it like that. Because all the weeds that grow out too far over the footpath. Yeah. It'd be nice if they did this up again too. Put in some sort of ramp too, like a decent gradual ramp. Footpath one side, ramp the other great. I like the way they've done the one onto the centenary bridge. There's no ramp but you can, if you're walking along with a push bike you can put it up on that drain sort of bit and walk along so you don't have to go dunk 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 along the steps. Okay. Uh. That was a long walk and a dangerous top step there. Well, there's something I reported on the Snapsense Old Bap up here. I'm just going to have a look and see if they've fixed it. I think that lady's coming from before. But uh, yeah, it was a little bit here where it was a trip hazard. Just up here. No, they haven't, haven't fixed that part. And there was a part just further up. Right. This next part, just here. No, they haven't. Uh, I reported that a while back. And where that lady is now, I can't report it. So. Yeah, just up here was the next part I reported. A lot of things do get fixed that you use the SnapSense all back for. So, one of my Gundy videos, I think it was part four, or part three, I showed, and that, I showed the Snapsense all about and how it works, and that I, I'm not sponsored by the Snapsense all about or anything like that, be nice if I was, but no, as I've mentioned in some of the videos, but I do think it's a good idea to use, that way people, um, and get things done. A lot of Telstra pits and things that I've reported they've actually come and fixed. And that, so uh, graffiti they've got rid of. You can report a lot of different things, which is great. So anyway, we'll get up to where these stairs are and then we'll stop and go to the next, next location. So you can see what it was like along here. 
before they did anything to it. The extra bits. I'll wait for this lady to go past first. But yeah, this is the stairs I just went down before. And went there. And they're going to do up the. I'm going to join it up to the. Um, join it up to Flappers Point Road. And that, but anyway, this is Jordan Bridge. I'll, I'll catch you back at the next location. Okay, so we're back at Cutter Court, about to have a look at what they're doing at the post office. I'm sure there's people here working, it sounds like it. So I can only say so much while they're working. So you've got Albert's here, then you've got the museum, then you've got the post office. For those wondering, for a bit of context, where things are, how it's set up, the whole location of things. Well, and you got Innisfail Youth Recreation Centre, which used to be called the Edge back in the day. So I heard someone say a few months ago, the Edge. It's been so many years since I've heard it called that. It's that really weird. Oh, I'm going to get down to the Edge. Yeah. 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 So there's you. My other Yelper. Post office. You can see the way it used to be, all that brick. Well, that looks like it'll be no more. Hopefully, they preserved the Commonwealth Bank sign along there. The agent for the Commonwealth Bank sign. I'm not talking me. I'm saying something about it. But anyway, such as it goes. So get the camera straight ahead. But anyway. So, there we go guys, if I can turn, turn back when I get a bit further up, otherwise it'll be a waste of time in this spot. I didn't show too much, oh, thought being a Sunday there'd be no one there, but no, not much like that. They'll become YouTube stars. <laughs> anyway. So that's that, let's go on to the next location. Okay, we're back out of Goodney Van next to the old spa and chemist. Wow, we're going to have a look at the progress of this bike path, footpath, that we showed last week. I think it was like last Saturday or Sunday. We showed it. So what we'll do is we'll go up and around for safety reasons. Just show the progress. And that. Go down the side of this fence here. So you go all the way up here. So there's your spa for a bit of context. The old spa that closed down. Closed down due to not enough people coming there when the big roadworks were happening around Gundy Band. And they did the major upgrade to that whole thing, put lights in and all that. So. And yeah, no one's taken it over, sadly. Hopefully someone does and keeps it as a spa or an IGA. One of the two. Has it open from like 5 in the morning like the spa was till 9.30 at night. So they get the people who missed coals and wallies. Go half an hour to get to get to spa. Even 10 o'clock would be great. And open you know, 365 days a year like the spa and IGA were. Okay, so let's have a look. Along here. I'm sure the plovers are going to come again like last time, as they always do. It's not as windy this time, which makes it hotter, of course. But we'll go up and show what we can. As always, we don't mess with anything, we don't touch anything we shouldn't. We do everything by the book, we do it safe. We go close enough that you can see what's going on, but not to interfere with anything. We don't break anything. We don't write our name in the concrete, any of that sort of stuff. In the cement, no. But we leave things better than what we found it, if we can. 
like turning that tap off more so it doesn't leak everywhere. Okay, well this is where they started the new part. This old part was here for a long time. And there's the old sort of caretaker's house for the showgrounds. So I'll give you the most as comprehensive as we can look of how this is here, they've done. So you've got Gundy Bend there, the actual road, and then the other footpath, the bike path has been there forever. And you've got all this here, so. So we came while we still got battery. We do have spare battery, so it runs out while then we're safe. Hopefully they put bins and lights along here. I'm sure people will come along here at night and want to ride along here. It'd be nice if they could do a whole big link of like bike paths and things that you don't really have to get off a bike path to do a big track around in as well. That would be amazing. So we've just had a look at Dalrymple and I've just done eight kilometers of walking. So, yeah, if they can do do up River Avenue, do one out to all the way from Innisfil State College to Blankfish Point. Redo the one that's at the coconuts there. That's nicer. Back where we just came from. You can see where we are. And, uh, yeah, do up all that. Put one all the way out to Wayne Gann would be amazing, but it would cost a fortune, but worth it. People do ride out there, people do walk out there, like they do to Flying Fish Point. I walk out there now and then. It seems like it's a long distance, but when you walk the distances I do, it's no more distance than you know, this walk I've done today. It's tiring and it's hot and it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's doable. So, but it's not safe at the Flying Fish Point. Even where the mangroves and that are just before the big turn of, into Flying Fish Point, that footpath's on a weird angle for the drainage and that, and makes it very horrible to, to ride on, to walk on, because you're on that weird angle. Okay, let's have a look at how they're doing it, these green bits. Green and silver bits. There's the way to Ash Street just there. And Blackwood Street there where the lights are. The giveaway sign. I don't know how well it'll show up on this camera. Hopefully within the next week they'll have this finished. That would be amazing to see. We'll come down and have a look. Of course we'll do the way we did last time. We'll go to the other side of the barricade. And show back. So we get back to like the cricket pitch area, cricket nets. Yeah, they are predicting a millimetre of rain tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. See if that actually happens. It usually, lately, has been overnight when that happens. Now this time we're not going to go all the way around to Blackwood Street on the other side of the road. It's just too much when you've already walked all that distance. Mm. Nice and wide. So if you're walking single file and someone comes along on a bike, you can get out of the way. So hopefully they build it up to here, nice ramp. So it's easy for people on mobility scooters, people riding, people walking to get up. That people with wheelchairs, crutches. It'd be nice if they did all the way up and over the top of Gundy Hill to the corner of Railway Street and all that, where they, where they put that new pathway in just up from the Gundu Hill Hotel. It'd be awesome if they did that. It'd be amazing. That way you don't have to cross over. If you want to walk safely, you could go, it'd be nice if you could go all the way down to the mobile at least. Link up to that Page Park pathway they put in. And then basically be able to cross the road, go all the way into town basically on a footpath except when you've got to cross the road. That would be phenomenal. Be a lot safer. And then have a proper crossing across Blackwood Street from here. And then, like I said in the last video, a pathway all the way down on the other side of the road to 
Newman store. There's a lot of kids walking along there. They could go down Maple Street where it's a bit safer, but a lot of people don't. Then, um, yeah, that would be that'd be a lot safer. Anyway, we'll come over look uh, from the barricade across. See, we didn't touch anything that we shouldn't. We did it safely. If you're ever going to have a look at stuff like this, club is coming. Um, yeah, make sure you don't wreck anything. If you see rubbish, pick it up, take it to a bin if you can find one, take it home or whatever. So there's through to Ash Street, Ash Street phone box, which I showed in the last video. But if you want to see where I said about the, where I think they should put a footpath from Blackwood Street to Newman Store, have a look at my Gundy video part one. I think it's a walk to Gundy or something. I forget the exact name I called it, but it's part one anyway, number one part of it. We'll be able to see it. Herb Collins Oval, Seth, Seth Anderson, and all this stuff. I mean, there's a few different names for this. It's Gundy Sports Reserve, Gundy Sports Ground, people call it. Seth Anderson. So some of it's named after him. You got Herb, Herb Collins Oval. So in the British Herb, without the H. Some of these signs say Herb Collins Oval. And that, yeah, it's underutilized this. Very underutilized. Remember, it used to be utilized. I just about nearly any time I'd come down here, there'd be like schools down here playing, playing sports, or I don't know what nationality the people were, but I think they were like Indian or Pakistani. Would be down here having a cricket tournament. No, that was great. There were like marquees set up actually getting some use yeah it was excellent but i don't see anything like that anymore very underutilized but i don't think the surface is that great it's a yeah you know, it's a mixture of weeds and grass and multiple types of grass too i think the top part gets used more up where you go to vote where the clubhouse is so they're taking away the big tree from here which that tree would be in some of my videos of the sports ground from over the di different years and the one that's a bit further up the direction I'm going to my left so we're just shutting around like we did last time so we were before where the stairs used to be you can see the stairs in some of my videos and photos and that over the time we'll get a photo here for the thumbnail if we don't decide using the thumbnail it'll be on the end of the video so you can have a look at it part of this pathway while we're here but yeah always always respect where you are respect your surroundings don't wreck things don't break things pick up your rubbish take it wherever if you're not going to pick up your rubbish and take it somewhere don't bring anything with you that has rubbish don't buy anything that has rubbish just don't Well, buy a sandwich. Put the wrapper in the bin where you buy the sandwich, if there's a bin. And then eat the sandwich. Or whatever, you know. Have a bit of respect for the environment, for where we live. Make it look nicer. If you're having something in the sports ground here, well, go to the bins behind the sports pavilion, as they call it over there. The Bicentennial Pavilion. There's usually wheelie bins behind there. I don't know if there still are, but there was. For years. Anyway, there's the cricket nets I was showing last time. I showed in full detail. We can have a look at that in the last week's video, last week's update video. Oh, the random sock is still here. The lonely sock hasn't found its partner yet. Hasn't been claimed. The lonely sock out in the out in the blistering sun, lonely, looking for its partner. Can really only move if someone moves it. We'll, we'll get it one step closer to finding its partner. There we go, we've moved it a little bit. Now it's up a little bit, it might be able to see. Nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun like that, harmless fun. Anyway, this is Best of Times, keeping memories alive. 
for us and future generations to see what it was like in Innisfail at this particular time in life. Before, after, during, all that. Please show your support by pressing like, commenting and subscribing. Um, share the video with your friends on social media. Feel free to check the links in the description for other people's videos. There's a few links in there for walktubers and that that I follow, that I watch and that that I like. And that, let them know that Bestest Times recommended. Brad from Bestest Times. Or Best of Times Reborn. Or hashtag Best of Times, whichever one you want to put. Check the links in the description for my PayPal links. If you want to donate to the channel to help with what's going on. So I can get better quality videos. More equipment. Be able to get to locations better. The latest camera that's being paid off. It's $285 a fortnight. So if you want to make a payment on that to help out, feel free. PayPal link in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully everyone's going to have a great summer when summer hits. And a great winter that's just finished. Uh, it's now boiling hot. Stay safe, stay sun smart. And we will catch you in the next one.